Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logies, and today we're going to be talking about one of our more spectacular flowering vines, Thumbergia laurifolia. This is an Asian native that blooms for us pretty much throughout the year. The heaviest flowering, like its cousin, Thumbergia grandiflora, comes during the winter time. But unlike Thumbergia grandiflora, this one actually will bloom farther into the season and start earlier. So you can see the flowers are a little more purple color than the grandiflora. I have a flower of grandiflora right here, and you can see the difference in tonage of color. So they're a little more purple, and the other distinction is that the flowers have a longer leaf to them. So they have the similar blooming habit in that um, flowers can actually form along the stem as single blooms, or they come out as a spike. So there's a spray of flowers that come out. It's when those spikes come out, usually um, during the uh, winter or fall season, although I said, as I mentioned, it can happen throughout the year, um, that's where your great show comes because these will just continue to put out flowers week after week, day after day. And all the flowers are relatively short-lived, only a day or two, um, you will continue to have a show that never stops. And so this plant is pretty much in flower for us at least nine, maybe ten months out of the year. And even when it's not, you can always find something on it. As is in most of that genus, it's a very vigorous grower. It's what we would call a soft grower that sends vines out. This time of year, it's really in flowering mode, but in the summertime, you really need to have your pruning shears handy and trim back the leaves that are coming out. And of course, that will slow down flowering a little bit, but it's a plant that has to be, you have to work at to contain it. Um, they're quite, as I mentioned, they're quite vigorous, so they are easy to grow. Um, we give this plant um, fertilizer on a regular basis, and any blooming fertilizer or balanced fertilizer, as we call it, um, is proper for its nutrition. It does have um, a relatively um, soft growing condition and vigorous, so therefore it has a high demand for water, meaning that it's very easy for this to uh, go into a wilt. A large plant like this in a small pot probably needs to be checked very frequently, at least once a day for um, need of water. Wilting it down doesn't hurt any, actually. Um, that can actually help some. Um, in terms of getting air into the soil. You also have to be cautious um, under a lot of dry stress for spider mite infestations, which this plant is prone to. Um, other insects would be thrip, probably, like most Thunbergias that can affect the plant. Uh, but generally, it's um, the spider mite that we have to keep our eye on. As far as um, the root system goes, it's a very strong root system. We, we really never see any root diseases into it, regardless of how wet or um, even under cooler temperatures. As far as temperatures go, though, it really needs to be grown in a warm conditions to get the most out of it. This house we're in stays above 60, mostly above 65 degrees. And we're under full sun here, so they need um, really bright light in order to perform well. As far as pruning goes, as I mentioned, you have to cut them back periodically um, during the summertime. You want to make sure that as you get down to the end of August into September, you want to stop the pruning and then simply take the vines and wrap them around themselves um, and pull them back from whatever they're climbing on. That's because you will be cutting your flowers off. So again, this plant does have um, a winter blooming cycle to it where it's heavier, and you want to make sure that those vines that are growing in late summer are sensing that decreasing day length in order to um, initiate flowers. Well, there's a little bit of information on growing our Thumbergia laurifolia, which is really one of our almost year-round um, showy flowering vines. If you'd like more information, you can find us at logies.com.